Hey everybody, it's Casey here at Sea Run Fly and Tackle. Today, I'm going to show you how to service your Islander MR3 mooching reel. Alright, so here's a quick rundown of everything that I'm going to use to service my Islander MR3. So I've got a little parts bin just to hold on to all the little bits and pieces that we're going to pull off this reel, just to keep everything organized and from getting lost. Um, I've got some type of degreaser just to help remove any old buildup of grease. Um, hot soapy water will work as well too. Oil and grease. We've either got the Abu Garcia Precision Oil and Precision Grease or the Super Lube Kit. I've got a slotted screwdriver and just a small pair of tweezers um, just to remove a, a little rubber O-ring. Uh, you can use you know, a whip finisher I've used as well, uh, bodkin, uh, really small fine slotted screwdriver. And that's all you need there just to, to do a quick service on the reel. Oh yeah, paper towels. Or you know an old rag or something like that, something that you don't mind getting greasy. All right. So to service this guy, well, I guess the first thing I want to talk about before I'm going to tear into this reel, I just want to make sure that I don't have this at the end and you guys skip all this. So the most important thing to do with your mooching reel at the end of the day of fishing is to rinse it with clean water, uh, fresh water. That being said, um, salt is nasty. Now these reels are meant to be used in salt water. Um, they're produced to be as durable and resistant as they possibly can be, but that being said, without improper care, these will still um, suffer from the effects of salt. Um, so take your reel off the rod once in a while, make sure that all the salt buildup is removed from around the foot. Um, you don't need to dunk the reel, but just give it a good rinse. Um, after that's done, don't just put it right back into its neoprene cover. Um, let the reel dry out before it goes back into the pouch. The biggest issues that we see with these reels is because they get put away wet and especially wet um, without being rinsed. Uh, so if you do that, it'll really extend the life of your reel and it'll save unnecessary trips back to the manufacturer to replace bearings and, uh, and so forth. Uh, so to get into one of these guys to clean them, I'm just gonna take a slotted screwdriver and we're just gonna undo the center screw here And I'm going to pop that guy into my parts tray and then we back off the center drag cap and pull that off and just be mindful that there is a little washer in the back there um, it typically doesn't fall off there's enough grease that usually holds it in place but just be mindful that that guy's there and we'll set that aside in our bin as well from here we're going to take out the drag tension spring Again, back into the parts bin and now we can expose the inner workings of our reel so as you can see we've got our cork drag surface our copper dogs here and this is basically what gives us our clicking sound and it allows the reel to be either uh, left or right hand retrieve you can see it spins one way locks the other Next thing I'm going to remove, see if we can see it here, that little black rubber o-ring. For that I use, I've just got a pair of fly tying tweezers, um, but a small slotted screwdriver or anything fine um, will just help pop this guy out of the recess slot that it sits in. So I use the tweezers just to kind of free it up or to kind of get part of the o-ring out and then I'll just pop my thumb underneath to keep it from slipping back in. and I just work it out of the groove. Um, it's actually a lot easier than that looked. It's just kind of difficult to do this around a camera. So we're gonna pull that guy off, don't lose him, into the bin. Next thing we're gonna do, remove that whole unit right there, and we're gonna start cleaning. So this bad boy is in good shape, it's a brand new reel, doesn't need a whole lot of love. Um, but as a lot of times we see reels, you know, with, you know, dogs, you know, does my reel need a service? We open it up and it's like, yeesh, this thing's got old crusty grease in it from, you know, 10, 12 years ago. And yes, it definitely needs some love. So what we'll typically do, take some type of degreaser, spray it in there, remove all of the old grease, getting everything looking new and shiny in there as we possibly can. Clean off that center spindle. Get 
get that all cleaned up. Once I got that all clean, we'll give this just a quick wipe down. I'll remove all the old grease from these teeth here. I just pick it out one at a time with some paper towel. I'll wipe back the back plate of the reel clean as well. And then I'll dig the old grease out of the center cap here. So to reassemble the reel, what we'll do is I'm going to take grease and I'm going to put it all the heavy coat around the base here. also get that center spindle or that center drive shaft. Don't forget to get the threads as well. Get that all lubricated. And then I'm going to re-grease teeth making sure everything's got a fresh coat and then we just do the opposite of how we took that bad boy apart so I'm going to slide that baby back in there now on an MR3 they can be either left or right hand retrieve so what this they come up from the factory right hand so to set this as I'm putting this guy in, I just slowly turn it as I'm applying pressure and that will engage these copper dogs uh, so that it is for right hand retrieve. So if I'm turning it to the right, like I'm reeling in, or if I want to switch it to left, just slide that back out, turn it to the left, now it's left handed. That's all ready to go. The cork on here is looking fairly dry. Now what happens if your cork gets dry, you'll notice that your reel, the drag isn't as smooth as it once was. It starts squeaking or chirping and it can get really jerky. So what we'll do is just take some reel oil. It seems very strange that lubricating your drag surface makes it work better, but that's how these systems are designed. So a few drops on there, spread that around a bit. So that everything's coated nice and shiny. A couple more drops. Then we're going to slide that little O-ring back on. That just holds that whole unit in place. Next, put the spool back on. You know, if this guy's all, if you're all gummed up in here, hit it with some degreaser, get that old grease out of there. Slide that bad boy back in. And you're gonna wanna pack that back full of fresh grease again. So we'll put that drag cap back on, or drag knob. and then reinstall that center screw. Get yourself a piece of paper towel, wipe all the excess grease off the outside after handling that thing. Throw some fresh line on there and you're ready to go catch some fish. Hope you found this video useful. Um, if you like these videos, feel free to like and share. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, check us out online, www.c-run.com. Uh, we've got an online store and uh, lots more videos coming your way. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.